need that. Oh wait, crap. Wrong one. Yes, there we are. So what do you do when you can't get into your MacBook? Or if you want to steal someone else's stuff? Don't do that. Well, um, you could hack it, but uh, how hard could that be to get into this thing without proper authorization, which is the definition of hacking? Well, a little birdie, actually no, a little fox, told me that it's not actually that hard, which I didn't even know. And as such, the credit for this video idea goes directly to Jared Fox for suggesting uh, that this is possible. So I'm gonna test it, and I'm gonna post it whether it works or it doesn't. And if it does, this is a how-to video. So he says to basically enter recovery mode and then uh, go into the terminal and do a command. Well, that shouldn't be that hard. I'll show you how to do it. First, have your piece of shit. Shut your piece of shit down. You must go to the top, go to shut down, and then Or you can just hold this down if you don't care about your machine. Yes, this, you can see kind of in the reflection, is my camera, because I don't want my camera to stop recording and fuck everything up. Turn down the lights. What you must do is press the power switch quickly, and then immediately hold Command R before or as soon as you hear the startup bomb. If you don't hear it, just hold it down right after you hit the, the button. And the, the uh, key combo is Command R, and that's for recovery mode. If you can't get recovery mode, you can do either Shift Command R or Alt Command R, which also has Option written on it. Sometimes I just do all four, Shift Option Command R, just to make sure that it work. I should be able to let this go now because as soon as the Apple logo appears, it should be booting into recovery mode. Although sometimes it doesn't, and I have no idea why. Max be built different. Oh, you saw a mouse cursor. Not there anymore, but there, it was there. For those who, there, who are wondering, this is a 13-inch MacBook Pro from late 2013. So it has the good graphics, not the crappy graphics. All right. So our keyboard backlight doesn't work, but to be honest, that's not that important anyway, in the recovery mode. Okay, so you can go into Disk Utility, which is one of the four options when you start, and then go to View, and then Show All Devices, but this doesn't actually allow you to get into the computer. Obviously, this one's set up as Boot Camp, but this is the, this is the partition we want to boot into and uh, log into. And if you don't have the password, I'm going to show you how to get in anyway to the exact same account that's already on here without even having to have the password. So exit out of that because we don't want to erase anything. Go up to Utilities and go to Terminal. I believe this works on every Intel Mac and all Apple Silicon Macs, theoretically, that don't have some kind of encryption crap on them. But anyway, now that we're in the terminal, you could you should be able to just type in according to J Red Fox here. Reset password. Uh what uh Okay. Well that's interesting. It just brings up a little a little GUI utility. Uh wow, okay. New password, what am I going to do? PD, verify password, PD, just the same thing again. And then password hint, uh, my made up word. I should copyright this. And not quite right, that's different. All right, make sure to use proper English. Next. Yes, that's me. Password reset completed. Your user account has been reset. Okay, so, holy crap, is this just gonna work? Let's restart. Okay, so it's gonna shut down and start back up automatically. Man, if this works, okay, it's booting back up. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna retry my old password, the password that I know exists on this machine. Like before I did this, because I mean, this is one of the machines I, I used to daily use, so it should have been Tweety. Of course, that's not gonna work. What's the hint again? A made of words, so that would be PD, which apparently is one of my friend's cats, somehow. Weird coincidence. But as you can see, I have gotten into my idiot college buddy's uh, account or, my, or my, my friend that I'm trying to pull a prank on's account or my hacker's account that I'm trying to hack because he hacked me first. I don't know. Whatever you want to use it for. And this, idiot things because for some reason this laptop has no compatibility with iCloud's servers and I have no idea why. Idiot just work. Ah, okay, well anyway, uh, I'm gonna go re I'm gonna go through that again to uh, 
make sure that I can get my old password back. So basically I'm gonna change it back with the same utility in recovery mode. So it shuts down. This time, what I'm going to do is press the power button, then Option Command R or Alt Command R. This should boot into internet recovery, which it's doing. Legends say this version of the recovery tool should automatically go and grab the earliest version of Mac OS uh, a Mac can run. So this should probably be Mac OS X 10.9 Mavericks, if this holds up. Or maybe a very, very late version of 10.8 Mountain Lion. I have no idea what this timer is about. I've never seen that be anything useful. I haven't seen any pattern for it. It could be either how much time has elapsed or how much time is left. I, I really see no pattern. It doesn't seem to be either. Starting to nut on your computer. This may take five seconds. Ooh. And for those who might have come from Storm and Chocolate, all the, the 86 people that watch that channel, or at least one of the videos, yes, this is the Storm and Chocolate set. It has now a bunch of crap on it. Cause I do a lot of shit. Come on. You know you want to do it. Come on. You like my balls? They're tethered. Now they're not tethered. Oh. Or it. One ball. And it looks like I'm gonna lose this ball too, cause it has cancer. AKA, it doesn't work very well. And yeah, I got this for like 40 bucks about three years ago. And that was coming from my, my headset mic, which was absolute dog crap. Oh, the Apple logo decided to shine a hole in my wall. See, see the hole? No, you don't. Okay, so this pulled down the wrong version. What the fuck? All right, so here is our earliest version of Mac OS this can run, even though this is actually the latest it can run. What the fuck, Apple? What is your problem? You're supposed to give me the earliest, not the latest, you idiots. But anyway, you can go into disk utility and it looks slightly different. I am not installing Big Sur on this computer because this is a dual core i5, I'm pretty sure. And even though a dual core i5 that's significantly less powerful than this should be able to handle this, and it does, I've tested it, it doesn't run very gracefully and I wouldn't recommend anyone update past 10.14 on one of these oldish machines, like 10 years old, nine years old, just install 10.14 and run with that. It's worth it, trust me. So now you can go into utilities, certain terminal. Yeah, I mean, here's the same freaking thing. It's just slightly different. So let's type in reset password. Oops. And that, I mean, that did it quicker, but uh, yeah, so. You don't even need a boot drive to do this. Actually, no, that's wrong. You do need a boot drive. This is meant to work with accounts that are already set up within a boot drive on your Mac. So this does require a boot drive, but booting to this UI does not. So new password, uh, Tweety, the bird's name. Don't tell anyone. Okay, next, passwords do not, ma what the fuck? Yeah, you bitch. What do you mean they don't match? They match more than your mom's socks did in the morning. Okay, exit. Now we can restart. Actually, if we go to the startup disk, you can see my disk. Um, I also have Windows 10 installed on this machine as well through Bootcamp, but I'm not gonna boot into that. Restart to Mini Blade. That's what this is, by the way, because, well, it's the smallest fully functional uh, MacBook I have right now. I traded my others with my friend Garrett, which, um, if you guys don't know him, uh, check out the trailer that I'm actually pretty sure most of my current viewers have already seen. Also because that's where most of my recent subs are from. Yeah, he's the one that got really excited about a machine that I got from a flea market not having a CPU, even though the chick told me it was functional. For those who don't know, if there's no CPU in a machine, it's very likely not going to fucking turn on. Sign into iMessage, fuck you. But anyways, did that, did that just work? No way did that just work. There's messages, messages. No, that's maps. Messagriz, please. <gasps> what? Why is this, why is this not asking me for an account? What? New device added to your account. What? Okay, so I guess we fixed two problems today. No idea what fixed this. I wasn't able to send or receive messages on this laptop until just now. The fuck changed?
I didn't do anything else, you saw all of it. Anyways, that is how to reset your password and to apparently fix iMessage issue. I don't, I don't fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Anyways, that is how to reset your password on your Mac or to reset someone else's password on their Mac because you're an asshole and want to steal all their porn. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is Howard Redux and I'll see you all in the next short video or live stream, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. This is not the Mac I did that on, by the way. Oh, right, right, right. Or maybe a very, very, very late version, uh, ver version, yeah, sure. As such, this entire video idea goes directly to J Red Fox. And as such, this video idea goes, uh, and as such, this, uh, video Actually, that's restart. Do not do restart, that's, that's a disaster. <sighs> now what you must do... Now what you must do... Power up the machine, and then... I fucked it up. God damn. Let's start it back up. And I'm actually gonna do... Oh, okay, I fucked it up. Oh no, I screwed up. Sorry if this camera's not level. Just doing me best. Oh, maybe not, because I could have just leveled it the entire time. Stupid. For those who don't know, which actually a lot of people probably don't, is inside one of these microphones. Yes, this is a microphone. It looks, it, it's a ball. It's a blue snowball, even though it's black. And get it, this is the ice edition. Um, there's coils inside here that, ow. There's coils inside here that vibrate um, at certain frequencies, um, for example, the frequencies you can hear, and they generate a voltage in like a core in here uh, that's like inside of uh, that's like the coils are surrounding, and as the coils vibrate, there more voltage is sent through the magnetic field of the thing. I don't know. Your microphone is a coil and an electromagnet. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> I'm not sure entirely how that works, but. I know it makes sense to someone that does. Okay, so this version of macOS, I actually would call a virgin because it sucks, but uh, I'm not leaving that in the, That's going to be in the outtakes. I'm not actually putting that in the, in the main part of the video. Uh, I don't know what this crap is about, but I should have. Yep, that's good.